everybody. Um, we've got Turfentine in it today. Let's be positive. Let's see if we can get some cash. First race, leading fast. Silvana, first time out of a five. It was blatantly too short. Even this um, seven, uh, seven furlongs in 50 meters might still be a little bit too short, but um, straight him in the eyes for Terry. And uh, Peel probably make use of this horse today and uh, make them catch him. And I think she'll win today, um, leading fast. The second race of the day, I like Trapiche, um, only for horse field. And um, again, Terry is booked the very good Cole Dickin to ride. Gets a little bit of weight off its back. And I think Trapiche is the one over there. Uh, in the 12.20, um, everybody's drawn to the fact that you can't hurry. Love has got good form. Mount Laurel's got good form. And Prince Evlanov has got only one start and looks like an improver. But I'm telling you to add Westlife into all your bets because that'll be there or thereabouts. And at 9 to 1 represents good each row value. 12.55, um, a bit of an open race, but Apache 2, even though um, talk is that it might need the run, um, you know, th this is a nice horse and can certainly go in again. Not a betting proposition, but um, I think it'll be there or thereabouts. Uh, and 135, very open race. Um, I, I don't mind these... Um, Maiden handicaps. Um, I, I noticed James has got a bit of an issue with them. For me, um, I don't really mind them, and I think possibly crank it up is the one to be with over here um, in, in the 135. The 215, uh, really, really, really nice race. This so Riverstown, trade by Paul Peter, Luke Ferraris rides this. Um, I've got all my eyes on this horse because we have the uh, half brother. Um, we bought him as a two-year-old this year at the National Yearling Sales. So um, we're super excited that Riverstown does super well and goes from strength to strength because obviously we've got the half-brother. And, and and there's nothing to say that Riverstown won't win today. But we went for Ikigai last, last time out and um, we're going to go for Ikigai again. Um, and, and that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to go for Ikigai, but it is a two-horse race and you don't need to look further than that. Uh, the 255 race, I didn't really have too much to think and uh, to say. And the 335 looked impossible to decide what we we're going to do. So just some that I fancy today. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really gone overly mad. It's been a real four or five days of, 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 of challenging um, um, betting because um, <laughs> somebody on Twitter yesterday said, I'm not even eating the crossbar, I'm eating the corner flag. I look, it happens. I mean, you can't win every day. It's impossible. So let's just recap quickly. Leading fast in the first. I like Trapiche in the second. I like a little bit of Westlife in the third. Um, I think Apache 2 is a good thing, uh, even though they say it needs a run. I, I like that also. I like the way it runs. Um, and then in the um, 135, I like Crank It Up. And in the 215, I make it a two-horse race. But I'm going to back Ikigai again. I did back it last time and see if I can get my money back. That's it for today. Have a good day.